Chapter 7 Stepwise Thinking The stepwise process requires reasoning and problem-solving techniques to do any task. The process of applying logic and common sense while thinking about a task is known as reasoning. A difficult task needs more focus and attention. Finding solutions to such tasks is known as problem solving. For instance, imagine that your mother is not feeling well and today is your best friend's birthday. You cannot leave your mother alone but you don't want to miss your best friend's party either. In such a scenario, you will have to make a choice. Thinking about the best option and what is more important to you is called reasoning. Finally making a choice which suits you the best at the time is called problem solving. Each task, be it simple or complex, needs to be in a sequence of steps in order to complete it. For any given task, try to follow these steps. Identify the main steps of the task. Divide the main steps into smaller steps. Make sure you follow the sequence of the steps. Take an example of making a birthday card. Let us identify the main steps. Step 1. Getting supplies, papers, color, markers, paints. Step 2. Folding the paper to make a card. Step 3. Writing the birthday wish. Step 4. Drawings and coloring pictures. Step 5. The card is ready. Let us divide these steps into smaller steps. Step 1. Getting supplies. A. Check if you have the papers and colors at home. B. If you don't have the supplies, ask your parents to help you in buying the supplies. Step 2. Folding the paper to make a card. A. Place the paper on a table, long side up. B. Now fold the paper from the middle, joining the short sides, as shown in the image. Step 3. Writing the birthday wishes. A. Using a marker sketch pen, write happy birthday on the first page of the card. B. Write the name of your friend on the same page as shown in the picture. Step 4. Drawing and coloring pictures. A. Draw the birthday cake on the second page of the folded card. B. Color the birthday cake as shown in the picture. Step 5. The card is ready. More examples of stepwise thinking. You have to plan a birthday party for your sister. Follow the given steps. Step 1. Think of the time and place for the party. Step 2. Invite friends and family. Step 3. Get food and drinks for the party. Step 4. Decorate the place with balloons and play some music. Step 5. Greet the guests and offer them some snacks and drinks. Step 6. Enjoy the party. 2. Coloring a picture. You have to color a picture given in your book. Follow the given steps. Step 1. Bring your colors crayons. Step 2. Open the page where the picture outline is given. Step 3. Identify the object shown in the picture. Step 4. Choose the color according to the object. Step 5. Start coloring with the chosen color. Step 6. Use different colors for different parts of the picture. Step 7. The colored picture is ready. Loops The repetition of an action over and over again is called looping. Look at the following example of a loop. In the given example, Rohan starts walking from one side of the circle which is point A. 
He walks around the whole circle, but his end point is still the same as the starting point, which is again point A. This means if he keeps walking, he will keep doing the same action again and again, which creates a loop.